Harrison. My name's Tom Olson. I'm currently 35 years old. I live in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, right now, I'm a uh, police officer in the city of Clearwater. I'm also stationed at McDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida. I'm a member of the 927th Air Refueling Squadron. Wonderful roommate right now. She's the love of my life. Her name's Brady. She's a chocolate lab, German short hair mix. And I absolutely love her. She goes everywhere with me. She's my number one companion. Moved down to Tampa, Florida from Great Falls. Uh, met a beautiful girl down here. We started dating. And the beautiful thing about our dating was our first date. Uh, I picked her up. We we're going to go to a restaurant called Carabas. And I actually drove by the restaurant at first. And I made a comment to her, I'm going to have to bang a Yui. And she looked over at me and she said, excuse me? And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to bang a Yui. You know, turn around. And she goes, oh, I thought you said you were going to bang me. And then after that, everything was golden. Uh, we got married. And then at some point, she figured out that she liked firefighters more than she liked police officers. And so she's married to a firefighter now. As for my family, um, my family's in Maine. That's where I grew up. I have two wonderful sisters, and my mom uh, lives up there. Uh, I talk to my sisters regularly, and you know, I always talk to my mom. She's uh, she's done a great job raising us three kids. Uh, she kind of, I guess, if I had love my life, it'd be my mom. But you know, I can't get too sappy with that. Growing up, uh, while I was growing up, um, I was living on the uh, the coast of Maine. Uh, it's a huge commercial fishing family. Uh, I was lobsterman for four years, had some great times, uh, but decided to move on from that. Uh, one of my favorite childhood stories uh, that I want to share with you is I was about 14 or 15 years old, and Kurt Cameron, uh, who's an actor, he's one of my kind of like idols back then, had wavy hair. Uh, he had kind of like curly hair, and at that time, the, the chicks kind of liked that. So I decided, I went to my mom and asked her if it was a good idea that maybe I get a perm and just to put a little wave in my hair so maybe I could pick up some ladies. And by the time I was done with that perm, I kind of looked like a French poodle. Now because of that, I have the look you see now. Coming out Bunsen's Pass up here. Down St. Pete, just to the just to the port side, around the corner is uh, Egmont Key. It's on the west side of that island. It's nice white sandy beaches it's where we like to take the boat, take some friends, have a good time, and enjoy. places I uh, have always wanted to visit was uh, Germany. I'd like to go to uh, the Neuschwanstein Castle there. Uh, I've always loved German culture, German history, uh, the landscape of Germany. I'd love to hike there. And who wouldn't want to ride on the Autobahn? I know I would. Uh, and you know what? Why not introduce her now? Hey Brady, come here. Come here, sweetheart. And this is my dog, Brady. This is my, this is the roommate that I was talking about. This is, this is my lover. And uh, she loves being out here on the boat, swimming around in the water. It's just a great time to be out here. Come here, Brad. Come here, baby. <laughs> you guys have met Brady. Right now, I don't, I don't know if you can see, but she's kind of foaming at the mouth. It's her first time out on the boat in a while. She's actually seasick. <laughs> Over there? So, well, actually, you probably just saw that, right? She's kind of like throwing up a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this, clean this mouth off here. She's a good girl, but she just doesn't have her sea legs yet. <laughs> For my hometown date, the lucky bachelorette, we'll come back to St. Petersburg, Florida. She'd meet my mom, my two sisters, my nieces, my nephews, and my extended family that kind of lives out of Bradenton area. It'd be a great time. Those are the people I'd love to share in her life with mine as well. Okay guys, uh, you're probably watching me run right now. Uh, right now I'm going to tell you about my dream date. Um, I think for me, the best thing in the world would be for her to uh, show up. 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. I actually show up in the first place. But uh, once we got past that, um, I would love to actually uh, take her to Germany. Um, it's always been a place where I've wanted to go. Uh, while we were there, um, I love history. Uh, I would love to take her to some wonderfully historic cities. Um, do some fine dining while we were there. You know, Germany's not a, you know, I'm sure a great place to watch sunsets or anything like that, but, you know, if we had the opportunity, you know, if we didn't get a chance to go to, um, you know, these wonderful dinners, then maybe uh, go up into the uh, German hillsides, have an awesome picnic, uh, and we could take the, uh, the gondola up the side of the mountain and uh, perhaps see a sunset from up there. I think that'd be pretty cool. And I uh, just get to know each other and just have a wonderful, wonderful time and stare off into the sunset. Great. One of the things I like to do is de-stress after a run. Do a little stretching, nice little stretch in, the, in this beautiful Tampa grass. Beautiful scenery in the background. Now there's nothing better than a hard day, a long day at the office, the police car, because that's my office. And just coming out here and letting go on a little bit of that stress and putting bad guys in jail kind of a good feeling, you know what I mean? But, ultimately, I haven't found the right person to put in cuffs yet, because I never make any arrests on any beautiful women here in Florida. Alright, I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye -bye. Hey guys, you know, one of the things you wanted was kind of like a hobby reel, or things that we like to do. Well, one of the things I'm about to show you, we're about to put on film, is me doing a little bit of snorkeling on Eggmont Key on a beautiful Wednesday afternoon down here in St. Pete, Florida. So, guess what? For now, we'll see you later. One mud. But if I can swim after 40 days in my mind is crushed by the crashing waves that be up so high that I can't Chris, if you pick me, I promise I will go to extreme measures to find love on ABC's The Bachelor. Eyes become alive and the light that you shine can't be seen.